Okay guys, so welcome back to Power Balance Calisthenics Replays for episode 6. So this isn't going to be a long episode, I'm actually going to keep it pretty short because the only thing I actually want to speak about in this episode are my deadlifts, okay? And now, I'm back from doing deadlifts from the last time I snapped my shit up, and my back pretty much healed. It, it healed a pretty good bit. So as I got back into the gym, I went back to one plate instead of going straight up to two plates like at the beginning, so I could focus on my form. And as you guys can see, my form is pretty freaking solid if you were to ask me. My butt is a lot lower, my, my legs are spread pretty wide, and I'm just moving that way easily. One plate, of course, I'm moving one plate easily. So that first set, easy, nothing much to speak about. Next set you're seeing is when I'm hitting the two plates. Now the two plates, that was my first set of two plates, but it was my fourth total set. Okay, and as you guys can see, I'm still moving the weight. People say I'm not locking out, but I don't really care too much to lock out on the deadlifts. I can totally lock out. It's not, I don't think it's going to do anything much for me. I know I can lift that weight. I do not need to per like fully lock out because it don't feel good on my joints. Locking out is actually not good for your joints at all, right? Some people may have differing opinions. That's my opinion. Locking out is not good for your joints at all. Okay, so in this sense, I could understand people said lock out because you're still kind of tipping over or you're still kind of bent over, but I am not bent over. I am picking up that weight. I could stand with that weight in my hand if I wanted to. I just don't have to squeeze my butt so tight to lock out. So that first set at 225 was pretty easy. Then the second set at 225, which was my fifth set. So mind you guys, I am tired. I am actually tired. The second, the second set at 225, got pretty messed up because when I first lifted, I'm like, okay, I could do it. And then I started trolling, acting like I, I snapped my shit up again. So I'm just laughing and whatnot. But then when I went for two extra reps, the first rep went up, I dropped it. The second rep went up, dropped it. And then I felt like I was gonna tip over. So I was like, wait, what the heck, what's happening? So I took my shoes off. And then after when I was gonna go for the next rep, I realized what the main issue was, the shoes was a problem, but the main, main issue was that the plates were unbalanced because the clip was falling off. So therefore the plates were like really leaning off to the side and therefore I just felt unbalanced. It was tipping me over. So it was draining my energy. And when I went for that last rep, it just killed me. I thought I could have went for more, but it just killed me. And I felt that strained on my lower back a bit. So I said, F it, let me just drop it for today because at least I successfully hit my 225 with better form on my sumo squat and I know I'm able to do it again if I wanted to. So yeah, you guys leave your comments down below. I'm so tired, I still have to go eat and get ready to go to work. And you guys just tell me what's up, man. I actually have a video coming t tomorrow just to explain some things because the workout I did yesterday, <sighs> Terrible, terrible. I'll, I'll explain it all tomorrow. So stay tuned, stay blessed, and I'll talk to y'all next time. Done.